Hi guys, Nike Chef here and today I will try to do the mac and cheese. That's bechamel already done. Then I have mozzarella cheese, I have a little bit gouda cheese and some chorizo, some onion. Let's do that. Saute the chorizo and onion a little bit to cook it off. About the bechamel, I have already done here one. So basically bechamel is a main sauce and it's made from uh, butter, flour, milk. Some people use it milk and cream for richness. I used only milk, butter, milk, flour, salt, pepper and nutmeg. You can refresh it with the onion, you can refresh it with uh, some garlic. This one has, a bit, has garlic already in it. For the topping, I have here the breadcrumbs and I will mix them with the butter, some garlic, you can season it with the herbs and just put it all over the mac and cheese and bake it. So the pasta is cooking now, so we have to wait. So I wait with the sauce also to make everything, you know, at the same time to mix it together. So now I'm making the sauce. So I add in the mozzarella cheese now. And the other cheese I will put in the layers. So like this properly mixed and melt it and then you pull it all over the macaroni. So as you can see the cheese is nice and melted. Look at this. Creamy and cheap. So the sauce is in there as you can see it. You have to now cover all of them properly. So I put the first layer of mac, mac and cheese, then I will put the, another cheese in the middle and I will put the, this one on the top. I used mozzarella and gouda, mozzarella in the sauce, gouda here on the top, because the cheese are here damn expensive, so you can choose which one you like it and which one you want to use it. And it's done with the breadcrumbs. With the herbs I mix it and you just put it now in the oven to bake it. So the mac and cheese is ready. As you can see the breadcrumbs is nice and crispy. For sure the cheese is melted. Let's have a look. It's nice. Nice and crispy and creamy. I will show you on the plate. As you can see, nice and creamy. 